Well, today was a big day for our chief meteorologist, Chris Justice's family. His nephew, Grayson, started kindergarten at Edneyville Elementary. Now you may remember that Chris recently shared that his sister-in-law passed away after battling COVID-19. While Grayson's mom couldn't walk her son into school today, the community made sure he did not feel alone. Our Daniel Robinson is in Hendersonville with our story. A sea of flashing lights, a cheering crowd, and the Clemson Tiger escorted Grayson Justice to his first day of kindergarten. Obviously, this isn't going to replace his mother being here to walk him into the school, but um, this just showed Grayson how many people have his back and are going to be there to support him from now until the rest of his life. The Henderson County community rallying together for one of their own after Corey Justice lost his wife following a hard fought battle with COVID-19. Today just kind of just showed that presence of community that has really surrounded me over the last couple of weeks and surrounded my boys and really made this day special because this was a special day for my wife and especially for Grace to start kindergarten. Earlier this month, Brianna Justice was hospitalized at 30 weeks pregnant after testing positive for the virus. The 31 year old ended up giving birth to the couple's third child by an emergency C section. The family says Logan Justice is happy and healthy. However, Brianna Justice passed away a week later. Yeah, I hope they remember how involved she was and how intentional she was. Uh, she made every day about her boys and about making each day the best that it can be. And I hope that they remember that and I hope that continues for, for all of them. Before she became sick, the Clemson alum was busy planning for her son's first day of school. The family said she wanted it to be special. And because of that planning, Grayson received a special gift in the mail just before the start of school. She had uh, given him several options online to, to order a backpack and he had picked this backpack out and, um, and then it came kind of after the fact and just seeing that it was almost like a gift from his mother that you know because it was after the fact and he was he was really taken by that and was very thankful that he had that and that backpack's going to be really special to him. That dark blue backpack could be seen swaying down the hall as a father and son walked hand in hand. It was exciting because he is he is an, uh, a very outgoing kid and he loves making friends and he loves being involved. So after he kind of gets used to this transition, he'll, he'll have a good day. A new beginning built upon the legacy of a loving mother and a strong family. She was a very intentional mother. She she was a stay at home mom. Uh, she really just poured everything she had into our boys uh, to build a, a strong foundation for them to start their lives with. In Hendersonville, Danny Robinson, WYFF News 4. What a big day for him. It was. <laughs> so special. And such a sweet little boy. He's watching right now. I just want to say, Grayson, uh, Isaac, Uncle Chris loves you. And to the viewers out there, hey, thank you so much for your kindness over the past couple weeks. It's been, it's been a tough time for our family, but uh, your love, your support means so much to all of us. We have the best viewers, don't we? We sure yes. do. Yes, best we community. Do. <laughs> thank yes, you, Chris. Do.